Hey YouTube family, we wanted to start this video off by a big thank you for all 1,000 subscribers. Super excited. I mean, even when we started, there was like 20 people watching and now it's really awesome just to see your comments and to just have you guys following us on our journey and our mistakes and all the funny things that happen along the way. Yes. So we thank are you guys. Creating this awesome community and we really appreciate each and every one of you. Today um, is bus tour day. Just like this. Bus tour. <laughs> So we're gonna give you a tour of the bus as is now. It isn't finished, so just keep that in mind. And we still haven't driven it anywhere, so mm. also keep that in mind. It's called a work in progress. <laughs> Definitely, so let's do this thing. quick really brief a little bit about the outside and some of the systems that we set up what we've got here first off and foremost is the water heater and so this is what we use to heat our water and it's a very temporary installation as you can see we've got our water in and our water out it's an external unit and so it gets the job done for now it heats the water up really hot and does what, what we need it to do and it was about $90 eventually we'll be installing a unit that goes inside the bus and there's a face right here and we'll be able to hook that up inside so that we don't have to be too concerned about freezing pipes. But with this, we have to unhook it every night we hit freezing temperatures, which is a pain, but again, works for now. And the other thing is we're running off of propane. You can see that this line here goes to our propane stove. And then we've got another line here that goes directly into the water heater. And so we use a 20 pound tank. That's what we use primarily for cooking and for heating our water. And that lasts us about, uh, maybe about two months, give or take. Here's another thing we have is our water tanks. And so you can't see it, but right behind here, we have a large 100 gallon water tank. And for the space that we had, that was the largest one I could get to make fit feasibly. Um, and hold the most water that we possibly could so we didn't have to fill up all the time. You know, with a family of three, we don't use a lot of water because we can serve it, but still, with like a 42 gallon tank, we would go through that fast. Right here, we have a 33 gallon gray water tank. So right here is where we've installed our water fill up. So that's where we fill our water up at. And what's that? <sighs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> if you saw in another video, I cut a huge hole in the bus for... No reason. It was a reason, but it was a wrong reason. Anyway, going around right to the back of the bus. I think I hear the baby. Hold on. Okay, let's go. What are you doing out here? <laughs> are you warm? Good. Someone's coming for a red. We all know what this is. Oh, don't look at that. That's <laughs> Super our savage. wood in progress pile. <laughs> back of the bus, not really much to talk about here, but I bought this hitch a ways back and I haven't installed it yet, but eventually we're going to look to be able to tow the car behind us. Outside, as you guys probably saw in a previous video, we painted one side of the bus. This is the color we're going to be going with. Red pepper. Red pepper. Red pepper. Red pepper. You know, it's, it's really, it's such a relief not to see that yellow, at least on one side of the bus. <laughs> so eventually the rest of the bus will be covered. You can see we got rock climbing holds that we installed really difficult holds expert only expert level <laughs> and we're not experts <laughs> The other thing that I was really happy that we installed are the LED floodlights. That's honestly a game changer because out here in the middle of the sticks, when it's dark at night, especially on these winter nights, and we need to be able to go out of the bus and back into the bus and see what we're doing out here, these are magnificent. The other thing that's unique to our bus was the window film that we chose. Now obviously we could have covered the windows that we needed to with metal, but for us, light was really important in our bus. Really, really like it. It still allows a lot of the light to come in, but unfortunately, obviously, you still have a lot of like heat loss, and whenever we're cooling it in the summer, there's a lot of cooling loss too, but hey, 
we like our light a lot in the bus. And then finally, another thing that I installed was this 30 amp plug here. That basically hooks directly into our AC unit. So in the summer, we can hook that in directly and run the AC unit because it pulls way too much energy to be on our solar system. On the roof, we have about 500 watts of solar. I'm an AC unit, we have a fantastic fan that we put where the emergency exit used to be. And then we have our huge skylight, which you guys will see when we go inside now. Welcome to the inside of the bus. We have our camel hair feng shui here slash coat hanger hook and also maybe wrap hanger. So all our carriers for the baby and outdoor gear. And this just really helps keep us warm in the winter. We also have that reflectix behind that door to cover up the breeze that comes through. This is still also a work in progress area, but we've got shelving that's gonna need to be road proof. And we have a really awesome altar space with a bunch of crystals and our wedding book and just sacred things that we love. The driver's seat isn't attached per se, so it swivels um, for right now at least. So this is where we sit and have an extra lounger space for people to come hang out. It is Zamora's perch. Yeah, she likes to hang out up here. And then she likes to get savage with this whole wood area and then rip my plant to shreds, so. Anyhow, this shelf, this is all my inventory for my business. This is where I keep everything. Product that's finished and ready to go to stores and be sold online. And this piece of wood is also really special. It came from a palette that we had for our wedding that was used as a display. This is also kind of some storage over here. We have a plug that we're using here that plugs into our water pump and also our diffuser. Storage also under there. It's what we call our poop pile. This is also our sofa space and the whole thing lifts up and we have more storage under there. So that's all packaging for my business stuff and then also a printer. All stored away so it's not ugly. Curtains with the reflectix behind them to help keep everything warm during the winter. Hopefully in spring and summer and fall we'll be able to open up all the windows and let way more light in because as Justin said, we love sun. So then here is kind of like a dinette area. This table has a temporary leg here attached to it that will eventually have a metal pole that will be able to rise up and down so that we'll be able to lower it so that it's level and then add another cushion to have an even longer sofa space and then we can if we want to raise it up higher so we can have a standing work table for like computer stuff or whatever and then these two windows open so that we can let a breeze come in whenever we're having nice dinners and breakfast and all that good stuff our benches are also kind of higher than maybe the standard bench primarily because these two drawer sets used to be my desk that I used in my home studio and I really really wanted to keep the desk so these drawers all open up to have my business stuff um, for jewelry making all my essential oils so that's this whole front area this area also is kind of a work in progress. We were planning on putting a wood stove here, but for right now we're just using this electric oven. What even is it? It's not an oven. The heater. heater. Electric heater. Warm and it's a real fire. It actually is quite warm in here. Come here. You want to be in the video. Welcome to the kitchen. Over here we have our sink counter space with a Berkey filter and some drainage for all our clean and dirty dishes. Coffee, of course, stays on the counter and a plug for all our smoothie makers and appliances that we use on the regular and also our nature's head toilet, which hasn't been hardwired into the bus yet, but will. Over here we have a drawer with all our cutlery and all that other good stuff that we need to eat our food. Very messy in there. <laughs> Um, and then we have our dinnerware, so we've got plates and bowls and all that other stuff and cups that came with the Berkey at the back. We've got bigger serving platters for like chips and dip and deviled eggs and just other jaws and Tupperwares that we use pretty Great regular. Coupon. Yeah, I use that for my overnight oats. It's mm. actually the perfect size. Use what for your overnight oats? Great Poupon. You Great poopaw. <laughs> mm, poo -poo. Yeah, I use these for my overnight oats. They were from Costco and I love great poopaw. They should sponsor me, like for real. <laughs> and then on this side of the counter, oh which God. you probably don't want to look inside there, we've got a ridiculous amount of recycling that needs to go out for right now. Oh, look at the honeybees. Yeah, we've got little honeybee doorknobs. And then this is a project that's still also in progress. It's wood burnt and so one is the sun and one is the moon. Justin and I both have matching tattoos or kind of matching. One is the sun and one is the moon and Azalea will have to be a star. <laughs> 
so this is where we keep all our rubbish and recycle and plumbing and also the cat food and we have our water pump in there at the back <laughs> so red oh yeah this is also where we hang our well used <laughs> drying rack Da -dum. Da -dum. Okay, so on this side it's all our dry pantry goods um everything we try and buy as much of it in bulk as we can because we eat a lot of whole Foods. Underneath we screwed the lids onto the underside of this wood and that is most of our spices. So this wood was salvaged from a pallet and we just basically sanded it down, filled it with rope and then we still have to do a really thick resin coat so that there's no grooves and divots. But that's this little piece of furniture here which also has bigger things. We've got our coffee maker, tea pot and all our appliance bits and bobs and whatnot. So we've got a juicer, a food processor, and a Vitamix, and I think that's it. Oh yeah, uh, what's it called? Bread maker. And then we have our cutting board here that serves as our kitchen counter, except when we use it as a cooktop. So we just have the regular Camp Chef, it's like a little baby oven. And we have our amazing tile so that we don't set the place on fire because we've done that before. Underneath this oven, we've got all our pots and pans and all that good stuff. I think Justin should do this next port of the bus. Hey guys, so we've got our AC unit here and it was really tough installing this because it sat so low, it really got in the way of the headspace. So I had to put it up as high as it possibly could go. Here it still clears my head just by, maybe not at all, but just enough for me to get by. We boxed it into the ceiling and uh, yeah, it does the trick. Chuckboard. This is what we use to put the groceries on our list and it also, whenever we decide on what meals we're gonna have this week, we put the meals down here. This is our wall of fame. Wall of fame. What are famous people holding azalea and just life had with others on a Polaroid Kodak moment. Moving forward, we got our fantastic fan. It's a dream primarily for our oven and for our shower. We have our refrigerator, which is an insignia 9.9 um, .9 cubic feet and it gets the job done. We're having a couple issues with it right now. I would tell you about those issues, but we're not sure what they are yet. We're still Open trying it. to figure Showed that out. The so we have Antarctica Look, in here. The blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows what might be happening, that would be really helpful. Justin broke the knob off <laughs> because he thought it was over frozen and Emery thinks that it is because that there is a leak in the air flow. So. Still working on that. Yes. So we have a little bit of a uh, cabinet store storage space up here for some recipe books and some Jibby Went. Jibby Went. Yes. Every time we go well, to the store. Well, it was on sale. Look, every time we go to the store, <laughs> she has to go for the sale that's like, buy 15 of them for like $2. And so I'm like, all right, cool. Let's buy two of them and get them for like 20 cents or whatever that breaks out to be. She goes all 15. So we got beans for like the next year. Well, we had just recently installed this curtain to our bathroom. Again, work in progress. But we've got our composting toilet. We got a little light here. We have Juby, the marijuana goddess. This is where we hang our towels. This is our diaper pail. And uh, this is where we keep all our toiletries and jewelry. Here, you might notice from the cutout that Juby did, she did a smashing job on this door. This is our cat door. So we have a litter box down here. This is where we store our diapers and baby wipes. Eventually this will be covered with a layer of epoxy. We torched each one of these 4x4 four four cuts to kind of give it like a little, you know, checkerboard pattern. All right, so to the shower. Wow, this shower was a lot of time and energy and work. We've recently been using it and it is amazing. We could just shower under the stars, which was initially the dream that really kind of inspired us here. And so we cut out this humongous hole, which is kind of concerning. Um, obviously cutting a hole in the roof of your bus is scary as hell. But we cut it out, put this humongous sunlight in, and it's just amazing. I think you guys have seen in past videos of us tiling the shower. A very long, laborsome process, but 100% worth it. It's beautiful. We have this floorboard here. Yeah, which has kind of bounced to it because of the way that we thumbed out the drainage of the I won't the go into the design, no, but it's fun it's, to walk on. It's functional and it's a little <laughs> bouncy, so it's a little fun. Eventually, well, there'll be a shelf here and the plants will all hang down so that we don't have to worry about the plants when we're driving. I am a huge, huge fan of rain heads. So in this design, we had to have a rain head. 
scuba dub dub entree into the bedroom or the boudoir we have a step down and you come in and this is the kind of bedroom area and when it is in a sofa form it's more of like a lounge space so we just have an option of it as either a sofa or a bed we have all our books up here all kinds of different things that we read about Back behind here, you probably don't want to see it on a regular basis. We have our laundry basket, and then this is Azalea's little yeah. basket of clothes and socks and all kinds of other things that she needs. This is her bassinet bed where she hangs out. In fact, let's put her in it right now. Uh, she might be into it. She's very particular and likes to have a cushion, so. <laughs> there we go. Hanging out. So this is her bassinet that she stays in and her little mobile. This is a coat hook. I keep all my jewelry up here. And this originally was my closet, but we decided to trade. This is Justin's closet and then he has pants and t-shirts and whatnot in the baskets down there. This is all our hats, underwear, gloves, all that other kind of stuff. And an iron for Justin's work shirt. On this side, this is my closet. Let me do something so it's more efficient to see. So in the back of the closet <laughs> is all the electrical stuff that we need to run the power of the bus. <laughs> it's not that bad, we do still need to do some organizing. So we've got a plug here for our bedside table space, which is basically here. This is where we keep our day bags. Her diaper bag stays here most of the day, and then under here is another storage box where we keep extra blankets and carpets and stuff. So this is the bedroom. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to say about this place. I think we covered it all. All right, so this is our home. This is our bus, this is what we built. A lot of this was inspired by other people that we watched as they did their bus build. And we hope that going through our bus, maybe that gives you a little bit of inspiration for your design and your build too. Well said. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you pretty much covered it. We just wanted to share that with you. We're ready to adventure. And now that she is here, we're ready to see this beast on the road. <laughs> so with that, we just send all our followers some love and big thank you again for helping us hit a thousand. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. You guys rock. Another thing that we added that was unique to this bus is the window film. You know, we had the option to cover the windows, but for us, light in the bus was super important. So for us, window film was a good medium. Now, obviously, <laughs> she's so angry. <laughs> <I know. laughs>